The San Francisco Giants, my hometown team, the team that I have not stopped watching since third grade. Now the Giants were first introduced into the world of baseball in 1883 and moved to the city of San Francisco in 1958. And since our time here in the Bay, we've won three World Series championships in five years. Yep, that's pretty impressive. And during that time, we were a dynasty. But since 2016, things haven't been the same because that was the last time my Giants made a playoff appearance. And now entering into a new decade, maybe just hopefully we could run things back, this time to October. And today we're on the San Francisco Giants. You guys will not believe how long I've been wanting to do this episode for Kevin's personal collection. But guys, before we get right into this, you might see some guys here, some players here with different jerseys on because when they were prospect or rookie, um, they were on a different team. And I know I've made it clear that if they're wearing a different jersey for a different team, then they've got to stay to that specific team. But I also forgot to put them in a couple of previous episodes. So guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let's get right into this. All right, so leading things off, we'll have a stack here that won't fit in the frame. We'll actually go for a lot of stacks here when we uh, continue on to this video because uh, we got a lot of cards here. So leading things off, we have my boy Buster Posey. That's pretty cool. Throwback design. I'll try my best to go through these pretty quickly too. One from Heritage. That's honestly really beautiful. Posey again. Here's when he won the 2012 NL MVP. Another Posey here from Bowman. Diamond Kings. 2015 design. Big league design. We have one from Prism. Uh, Turkey Red, 2016 Chrome. Here comes Benji Molina, brother of Yadier Molina. Yep, this guy was on the Giants. This guy was the starting catch before Posey came in. Um, so what a story, uh, you know, to have, to have Posey come in right after, and then we won three World Series uh, rings right after. Um, Hunter Pence, we have him from 2016. This is his last card from 2020. Hunter Pence, you might remember this one from um, uh, I'm Will Be The Show. There, there's a photo of him looking like that. And this is his final ever active card. Uh, from the 2020 Tops Update series, um, so that's uh, that's pretty, you know it's pretty emotional when you think about it as a Giants fan because you know you watched him all your life, um, and he he's done so much for the organization. Um, here's the other half stack. We have our boy, the Giraffe Brandon Belt. That's honestly really beautiful. Panini Prism Blue Parallel. We have one from Gypsy Queen. Here's Brandon Belt right here. Here is a Lonnie Lamaster. If you're wondering from what year, it says. Can you read, Kevin? I think it says 1979. 1979. All right, here we go. DJ B Craw right here. 2020. Here's another Crawfee right here. 2019 Chrome. 2020 Chrome. Here I have Turkey Red Chrome. And then here I have a Mike Lacoste. Juan Berenguer. Pablo Sandoval, the Panda. Here's from Turkey Red. 2019. Making the tag right there. Jeff Robinson. Barry Zito. Yes, sir. Here we have Mike Scrimshi. Opening day. Gypsy Queen of Yaz. Bowman and Sergio Romo. So that does it for the first stack. Let's get right into the second stack. Hopefully this one will fit in here. We'll just split it up again. Okay. Now look at this beautiful photo. Now I've always thought that this was a short print. I don't think it is because it just shows Tim Hudson right there. But this is Madison Bumgarner's card right here from 2016 Top Scrum. Honestly a really beautiful card. As you can see Tim Hudson right there. Uh, veteran right there. Um, and uh, you know it was an awesome story when he won his World Series in uh, 2014. So Madison, Madison Bumgarner right there. Here's another Bumgarner. Bruce Bochy and this is from 2007. The first year that Bruce Bochy managed the Giants. So this is honestly really beautiful. And uh, what a great career Bochy had man. Boach man. Uh, Drew Smiley. Mark Melanson. We have a Freddie Sanchez. If any true Giants fan remember who Freddie Sanchez is. Uh, Nate Sherholtz and Alex Dickerson. Here we have the second half stack. We have Johnny Cueto. Johnny Cueto. Hopefully, he will have a blast in uh, 2021. Mike Kruko. Dwayne and Kruk. Um, we have uh, Jeff Robinson, Stephen Duggar, Kevin Mitchell, Austin Slater, and the uh, previous manager to Bruce Bochy, which was Dusty Baker. Um, Terry Kennedy, Stephen Duggar, Stephen Duggar again. Kevin Pillar, the one player that I wish we never got rid of because I honestly loved watching him, man. He was like Superman in center field. And the dude can swing a bat, too, so. Uh, it was a bummer that we let him go uh, after one year. So Brian Wilson, Fear the Beard, Derek Rodriguez, and Bob Melvin. Yep, the manager for the Oakland A's played for the Giants. I mean, pretty much did every manager who played back in the day like played for the Giants. Um, yeah, so here's the third and final stack for the base cards. We can see Barry Bonds from 2007. This is honestly really cool, really cool. Um, we have a Tim Lincecum, the Freak right there, Will Clark. Will Clark again. 
another Will Clark, Robbie Thompson right here, uh, Matt Kane, Matt Kane from 2007, Matt Kane again, Matt Kane again, and this is when, uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, the, uh, the day where you celebrate, uh, when, that was in 2015, where, uh, it was ring day or something like that, uh, to celebrate a 2014 World Series, Roger Craig, manager card, Roger Craig again, Jeff Samarja, the shark, uh, it says Jeff Keppinger, Brian Wilson again, Barry Bonds, uh, Derek Rodriguez, Evan Longoria, Dave Roberts, you see what I'm saying? Um, Wilmer Flores, Donovan Solano, Donnie Barrows, Omar Vizquel, Gregor Blanco, yes sir, Andrew McClutchin, we have Sean Estes, and Kevin Mitchell, and finally, a throwback design here of Willie Mays, I wish I actually had a Willie Mays card from the years he's, he, he's played, so that would have honestly been really cool. Here comes some insert cards. Some cards that uh, you know might be numbered or just have a special design. So here we have a, uh, Barry Bonds races 73 home runs, which he did get uh, for the most home runs in a single season. And uh, yeah, man, what a career he had! Even though you know all the steroid stuff and all that, um, I still think he is a Hall of Famer um, because he had a great career even before he took steroids. Here we have a die cut of uh, Willie Mays. Here's just a regular paper card. Here we look at this one: the iconic double play in the 2014 World Series. When Joe Panic uh, stopped uh, stopped the ground ball and flipped it to Crawford, and got Eric Cosmer out at uh, at first, and uh, honestly that that made a big difference in the game in Game Seven of 2014. Uh, Brandon Crawford, uh, extra edition. Here we have a uh, 2020 of uh, Posey. We have a Brandon Crawford. This one's going to be numbered out of 250. We have a Tim Lincecum throwback sign. Here's that. This is not actually Buster Posey's rookie card. This is from 2017. Tops update that this is just a you know throwback design, um, but we'll see Posey's rookie card very soon. We have a Tommy Joseph. Here we have some cards from the 2012 run. Marco Scudero, NLCS game seven right here. I think he was the MVP as well. We have Ryan Vogelson, Pablo Sandoval. This is when he hit four home runs. Madison Bumgarner. Um, that was right before you know two years before he went off in 2014. And I got this card when I was at a Giants game. They were passing out these cards. This is of Lou the Seal. This guy's honestly really cool. If you go to a Giants game, just take a picture with this guy. This guy is honestly really cool to go ahead and uh, just, you know, take a picture with. You know, I mean, you can't talk to the mascot. But, um, I mean, maybe get an autograph out of, you know. All right. Uh, next stack right here. Here we have Posey from when he was back in college. This is from Razor, 2008. Derek Rodriguez, Future Stars. Here comes a Sapphire. Uh, another Chrome, and we have a Mike Krzyzewski, Future Stars, and a Robbie Thompson All-Star Rookie Cup card. So that does it for the first stack. Let me clean up everything here, and we'll get right into the second row. All right, so now we're getting into the second row. We're going to have Rookie Cards, Bowman Cards, and of course our graded cards right here. So right here, leading things off, we have Chris Shaw, one giant that never really panned out. He's not currently on the Giants anymore, um, but these are his Rookie Cards. We have a Ray Black. He This guy threw really fast. Also not on the Giants. Aramis Garcia, also not on the Giants. Keen Wong never even appeared for the Giants. Um, Dan Runzler's rookie card, another Keen Wong. Um, we have a Zach Green, still on the Giants, but maybe hopefully he'll make an appearance. Jalen Davis is also another Giant that's struggling. Here we have an artist proof, Mauricio Dubon. Hopefully he can put on some weight for 2021 because I want to see some bombs from him. He just looked a little too weak at the uh, at the plate and in center field in 2020. So hopefully he can uh, go ahead and start hitting some bombs in 2021. Mauricio Dubon again from Gypsy Queen. Nice one right here of Mauricio Dubon. Throwback design. One from Inception. We have a Brett Phil. This guy was honestly really cool when I was watching his highlights and when I was watching him back in the day when he was playing. Mauricio Dubon from uh, Turkey Red. Steven Duggar. Steven Duggar from Gypsy Queen. Lots of more Steven Duggar. This is also another guy that I wish can go ahead and have more of a better season for the Giants uh, uh, this upcoming year. Um, Darren Lewis, the rookies um, from Don Rest. Rico Garcia. Logan Webb. One from Stadium Club. Panini and Logan Webb and Tyler Rogers. So there's a lot of guys on the Giants right now that are currently, you know, rookies or, you know, two years in that I hope can go ahead and start doing well because I want them to have a successful future and uh, make a name for themselves uh, in our organization. So here's a Matt Williams rookie card from Fleer. We have a Hunter Strickland, another Hunter Strickland. Here we have a Robbie Thompson rookie card from 1986. This is honestly really cool. And here's Will Clark's rookie card from 1986. Here's a Matt Cain rookie card. Madison Bumgarner's rookie card. I got this from a 2010 complete set. Austin Slater from 2017. Brandon Belt. Uh, Brandon Crawford. Cody Ross. So here's an example of someone that I forgot to uh, put in uh, some of the other episodes. 
I don't even think we're on the floor in Mar Marlins yet, but we'll see some other uh, guys with different uniform on, uniforms on. But Cody Ross is, uh, you know, a, a key a key soul into our organization. Uh, Hunter Pence rookie card. Tim Lincecum's Chrome rookie card. Here we have one that is a uh, that is in a one touch um, from uh, 2007 tops of Tim Lincecum. Here we have Buster. Posey from Upper Deck, and here's Buster Posey's rookie card here in a one touch. Um, so, this is honestly really cool. This is a screw down one touch, but um, this is a really beautiful card here. My boy Posey, right here, man. My boy Posey. This is honestly really beautiful. So, now we're on the Bowman Prospect cards. So, as you probably already saw, we have Mike Skremski leading things off for us, and uh, here he's on the Baltimore Orioles because this is the team that he uh, was on before he joined the Giants, but I had him include him here. Because uh, he's gonna, even though he's up there in age, he's still gonna have some good years with us, and hopefully uh, the guys working around him can uh, help him get to October soon. Pablo Sandoval's rookie card right here. We have a Joey Bart first Bowman, first Bowman Mojo, Aramis Garcia, Logan Webb, Marco Luciano. I got this at my LCS, and hopefully he will uh, pan out in 2021 or 2022 and uh, be an absolute baller uh, in, the, in the MLB and become like maybe the next big thing. Uh, Chris Shaw's first moment, Adam Duvall's first moment, Sergio Romo, we have a Andrew Suarez, Chris Stratton, uh, prospect card, a Joey Bart from 2020, Bowman, Sandro Fabian, we have a Mac Williamson, we have a Heliot Ramos, Clayton Blackburn, Christian Arroyo, Heliot Ramos, and another Heliot Ramos, and finally his Chrome version right here. So that's honestly really cool right there. Now we're going to get into some autograph hits, and uh, let's see who we have here. We have actually uh, pretty big of a stack. So here we have this Inception card, uh, what do you call it, um, patch autograph of uh, Chris Shaw, and it's just out of 75, so I have the 74th card, so that's really cool. All right, so we have an Aramis Garcia rookie card autograph, Ray Black rookie card autograph, Christian Arroyo's rookie card autograph, Steven Duggar's rookie card autograph, Logan Webb, Ari Adrianza, Matt Cain's rookie card autograph, we have a uh, Sean Anderson. I really don't like the sticker autographs, uh, but you can, you know, it's fine. It's still an autograph. Uh, Sean Anderson from Inception. Another one. Here we have a Connor Gillespie rookie card autograph. And anybody still remembers him? You know, remember that iconic home run in 2016 in the wild card? Um, here, we, we can go ahead and show you right now. 1-1. One, one. And a fly ball. Well hit. Right field. Bruce is back. Turn. And it's gone! Connor Gillespie with a three-run homer in the top of the ninth to give the Giants the lead. Man, even though we lost to the Cubs in the next round, that, that bomb right there from Connor Gillespie off Jury's Familia was absolutely iconic. So, um, And of course, of course, you saw him at the beginning of the video. I can't believe I finally found one. It's Travis Ishikawa's first year autograph. And uh, this, this, hopefully, I, I mean, if I ever get this graded, I don't think it'll get like, you know, a 10 or anything like that. But uh, th this card, this card is worth a million bucks to me because even though this guy, you know, didn't have like the best career ever he had the best at bat and it came at the right time and uh in in the nlcs against the cardinals and uh you know you know forever giant right here forever giant man forever giant and what a career he had now we are on my graded cards and there's still some players that i'm on the hunt for and uh if you're wondering like oh where's this guy uh, just because i don't have him yet um, but we're gonna go through what I have right now and a lot of these are gonna be from BGS a couple from PSA um, But a lot of these cards are from BGS because if I bought the PSA one I think I think I had to pay a little more just because it's from PSA So I decided to go ahead and buy the BGS slabs instead. So uh, leaving things off We have a Joe panic uh, grade 9.5 autograph 10 his first Bowman autograph right here So this is honestly really cool um, Brandon Bell, interesting story to this one. When I got this card in the mail, he went on to go hit two home runs off the Dodgers in 2020, and uh, later on, Donovan Solano walked it off. So what a coincidence for that. What a story. Um, we have 100 pence. First bone right here. We just saw his last card earlier in the video. Here's his first card. And we have a Matt Kane prospect card here. I think this is also his first card. Um, I was looking all around on the internet, and it said that this 2002 Bowman card right here of him is his first card. Uh, here we have Ryan Bogason's Chrome rookie card. Really cool, really beautiful here of a SF legend. Um, here we have Brandon Crawford's paper first Bowman. I wanted to try a 
to find a chrome one but the paper one was the only one i can go ahead and find on ebay it's still really cool this one here this one here i thought i thought like the prices for tim lincecum's first bowman autograph were just going to be absolutely absurd but i found a really good price this was about for 90 dollars on ebay a couple months ago from someone from hawaii and i was just like instead of me buying uh tim lincecum's rookie card autograph for so much money i'm gonna buy this 90 dollars one and uh and it's real it's real it's real even though it's for 90 dollars this is real i i've looked it up and stuff like that uh man uh this is an absolute keeper right here an absolute keeper right here all right second stack second stack leading things out we have the panda we saw his first bowman raw card here's here is it right here graded first bowman of pablo sandoval really cool really cool now we have madison Bumgarner's first bowman chrome card right here it has a rainbow refractor to it was it numbered no it wasn't numbered um, so this is really cool, really cool right here. Then we have Barry Bonds from GMA. This was from Big D Sports and Collectibles when he sent me out a couple of cards. Shout out to him. And uh, here's Barry Bonds from 1994. And that's really cool. Mike Ostremski's rookie card. Tops Chrome right here, PSA 10, PSA 10. Uh, I forgot what the price was when I bought this, but still really cool. This one, this one, uh, this one I think was a smart buy because Gil Ramos is going to be an absolute baller when he when he's called up for the Giants. I think it's going to be in 2022, maybe late 2021. But uh, I know it's not his first moment autograph because usually those sell for a lot more. But this is his first moment um, graded PSA 10, so that's really cool. This one here is of Michael Morse, his first Bowman autograph. And this should have been in the Seattle Mariners video, but I forgot. And uh, here it is right here. This guy is a forever giant as well. Tied up the tied up the game in the NLCS that later on uh, Travis Ishikawa uh, walked it off uh, with. And uh, this guy is forever giant because, you know, he also he also scored the lead run in Game 7 of 2014. And, uh, you know, you can't forget about that. You can't forget about that. So here's Michael Morse's first Bowman autograph. Here we have Cody Ross, his rookie card uh, from 2006. This is from Upper Deck. Honestly, really cool. I stole this for a great price on eBay. And lastly, fun fact about this one. This is a pristine 10, autograph 10 of Mike Ruskremski. This is the same year as his first Bowman. I don't know why I don't have the first Bowman logo on there. But guys, it's a pristine 10, and I looked online, and this is the only card in the world that is pristine 10. Population 1 of Mike Ruskremski. Yes. How insane is that? And you guys won't believe. So, you know, $200 is a lot, right? But the other cards of Mike Ruskremski, like Purple Parallels and other Parallels, were going for $1,000 plus. I'm not paying for that. Even for his regular 9.5, you know, great, you know, uh, gem mint 10 cards were going for like 500. I got this for $200 on a bid. I was up at like 2 a.m. and I was going through eBay, um, and I was just lurking around. Next thing I find a Mike Ruskremski, uh Bowman autograph, pristine 10, and it's just sitting at 200. So I wait until the last second, put in my bid, and I win it. And I even emailed the seller and I said, "How much did you buy this for?" He said he bought this for about 700 plus dollars. Um, right when Mike Yashemshi joined the league and when he was going off. And I was just like, holy crap, did I really just steal this card for a good price? And, uh, you know, I will never forget that day. And hopefully Mike Yashemshi puts up some good numbers in 2021. And uh, I can't wait to go ahead and see what he's going to do for us and what the Giants are going to go ahead and do. And uh, what, a what a great steal. What a great steal. So hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video of my San Francisco Giants. I know we broke the rules a little by showing some guys with different uniforms on. So what does that mean? You guys can go ahead and choose the next team we're going to go ahead and do for Kevin's personal collection. Um, and then we'll return to our regular ways of going through the going through the standings from worst record to best. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below who is the team that you want me to go ahead and do for the next episode for Kevin's personal collection. If you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. So guys, don't forget to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.